Welcome back everybody. So I've been out mapping the rest of the world. So I've got this uh, map pretty well done now. So I thought today I would just uh, do some highlights of it so you can see all the bits and bobs and all the stuff I found. Uh, I did uh, map everything in survival mode but I did switch over into creative so I can give you these nice flyby overviews of what is in the world. Uh, give you a better look at it than just seeing it from my perspective on the ground. Plus, it was a pain to try and record it while I was mapping. So this is Murphyville over by the castle. Just giving you a flyby of the old town. Uh, it's been a while since we've been there, but um, we did cover that in one of the episodes not too long ago. From there, I kind of mapped all the way down. There's another uh, interesting little uh, canyon or ravine I found. There's a, quite a few of these out there. I thought I'd just highlight this one because it looked really neat. It kind of goes into this valley and then kind of comes across here over these uh, birch forests and the desert into um, this extreme hills, which is kind of neat. And then next, we are uh, in the far southeast. I came across a couple villages um, in the, this is all new terrain. So this is a plains village, and these new villages are pretty big, I see. Um, I didn't go through and dig through everything. I just was passing by as I was mapping it. But what was neat about this one is you see a pillager outpost over here, within sight of the village. This has, look at all the, look at all those pillagers. And I see like one, two, at least four of the ca captains with the banners. So I guess this is where they're all been hiding out because I haven't seen them on any of those patrols running around. But you see they have the outpost here and then way across the river over there, there is another village. So there's like a outpost sandwich between two villages. And this village is a little bit smaller. It's right on the edge of the old terrain. So then over here, you can see that line where the old train generation meets the new one here. And it cuts off pretty sharply, which was kind of a problem with the old versus new. But what was kind of neat when I was flying over here, I found a, uh, a ruin. It's actually an underwater ruin, but it is on the beach. And it's got a few drowns around it, but that was uh, interesting. It's kind of just like, what the heck was that? And then from there, we have this witch hut over here next to the stronghold. So you have this nif I love that, the terrain generation is kind of cool with these extreme hills and cliffs and bays. And then it kind of molds in over here into this uh, swamp with a witch hut right on the bay. So you see, I've named quite a few things on these uh, maps with the banners. So we got another village here. This is one of the newer ones. And what's kind of nice is it kind of swings right over to this jungle. But I think the jungle is actually old terrain I've just never found before. Never noticed that. And then we kind of went up farther northwest came across this nifty uh, little lake inside of a mountain. I call it Crater Lake because it's kind of in the middle of a mountain. There. But once you go through here and around, you come over to this coral uh, warm ocean. So now I have a place to get some coral. And I think I want to take some of this coral, move it over to the, the beach resort, just so it looks more tropical. Highlights here of some nifty looking mountains. I just love the mountain terrain, it's kind of cool. A lot of dark oak forests through here. 
Well, in this one, I was just kind of wandering over the hill and almost fell into this lake. It's like completely hidden until you climb the mountain. And then you see where this uh, Floral Acres is right in the middle here. That um, is huge. That whole middle area of the map there is uh, flower forest. I mean, this flower valley or forest goes on forever. So it'd be an ideal place to make a flower generator. But yeah, it just goes on and on all around here. It's all just flowers. And I did find one particular place uh, right around here where there was this nifty little lake. I can see nifty. Yeah, there's this lake in, nestled in the hills here, which I, uh, I mean Tulip Lake, because there are tulips all over the place. But if we go swinging up and above and around here, we uh, have this spruce taiga uh, Town with all the new stuff in it. But what was kind of cool is because this is brand new terrain, we have foxes hiding out. And then we should be uh, coming across another gigantic mountain range which separates the swamp from the dark oak forest. And then, nestled right in the middle of the forest, is another village. Although this one, you know, oops, hitch. Uh, this one uh, doesn't seem to be well protected because mobs are going to spawn all the time in here, so I'm feeling villagers are going to be lost. And I have another village over here, which is, uh, has a nice layout to it. And switch over here, take a look at that. There is a uh, neat feature. I think it would be actually common in real towns. There's a canyon here, which it actually isn't that common, but you can actually see the path goes all the way to the bottom of the canyon. But what I thought was kind of cool is like on the only hill around here is where the church landed, which I would imagine would be something you'd do in real life if you had a real valley or a real uh, city in the valley there. Another uh, spruce or taiga, I guess, uh, village. This one's huge. Look at that. It goes on forever all over the place. Although I didn't find foxes there. I was looking around. And then I just got another flyover of some hills here. And then this one goes down here, which I'm calling the Llama Hills or Llama Valley, because there's llamas in the valley. It's like a huge expanse there. And then last but not least I've got this one last little feature here so you go up over these hills and then around this corner where you wouldn't really uh, it's not too obvious uh, it opens up into almost a box canyon here I'm calling the smugglers canyon and I think what I would do with this one is block up the ends and kind of hide the entrance a little bit to make a completely box canyon and put a secret hideout in there so I think that'd be cool So there you have it. That was kind of the whirlwind tour of the world. Of course, this little portion of the world. There is a huge section down there and a huge section way up above and then some stuff over there. But I was amazed at how much uh, stuff is uh, out here. Um, I had pruned all this, so this was uh, nothing already for new uh, spawn. And I think I was rewarded with uh, good, some good landscape to be building in. So I've got a few ideas just uh, based on what I saw. But for now, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, next episode, I think I'm going to... Uh, not well, the ruins is kind of a clue as to what I want to do, but it's going to be, I'm trying to see if I can find it, see if I can find it on the map here. 
Oh, that's too low. Oh, yeah, we're right here. Right here. Oh, so it'd be right about here. Where there is nothing. I saw this nothingness there, and then I had this bright idea to build something there. So that is what we're going to do in the next episode. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and hope to come back and catch the next one. Have a great day, and bye-bye.